Hello friends, family, and other creatures from the deep dark internet. My name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and welcome back for another medical myth or fact video where today we're gonna be tackling water. Not actually tackling water because that would be quite difficult to do, but we will be discussing whether or not the magical eight cups of water a day is enough in order to keep you well hydrated. Water makes up the majority of our body, including our blood, organs, and even our cells. Our bodies are composed of two thirds or 66% water. So we're basically walking oceans. Staying well hydrated is critically important, not only for maintaining overall metabolic health, but also in order to achieve peak performance. Unfortunately, there are a lot of myths out there about the overconsumption of water, from things like being more energized, having better bowel movements, being less hungry because the water stretches your stomach out, you're less likely to get sick, the list goes on and on. It's said that an estimated 75 to 80% of all individuals in a given day are actually dehydrated. So that being said, can drinking 64 ounces of water a day actually prevent you from being dehydrated? Well, the answer is yes and no, and let me explain. So where does this idea that eight cups of water is enough to keep you well hydrated actually come from? Well, we don't exactly know, but it's likely to come somewhere from the early to mid 20th century, and it's thought to have been derived based on the average caloric needs of an individual. For someone who eats about 2,000 calories a day, this translates to roughly about 2,000 milliliters, or about one milliliter per calorie consumed. And this is where that magic 64 ounces of water comes from. I don't know exactly how much truth there really is in this statement, but I guess it kind of makes a little bit of sense. However, the reality is based on the research that we have today, similar to sleep, water need is highly variable from individual to individual. So how can you tell if you're actually getting enough water? By the color of your pee. Yes, that magical golden fluid that's excreted from your body every single day. This is actually the best litmus test to see whether you're adequately hydrated or not. Now, if you don't get enough water, it can lead to something that we all know as dehydration. This is actually a condition where you don't have enough water in your body to carry out basic functions. Even mild dehydration can drain your energy, make you feel tired, and reduce your overall levels of performance. However, the symptoms of dehydration vary from person to person. Some people may experience barely noticeable fatigue, whereas others may experience weight gain due to decreased metabolic function, headaches, brain fog, dizziness, and a decreased immune function. Besides the color of your urine, there's one other way that you can tell whether or not you're getting enough water, and that is your levels of thirst. This is controlled by a part of the brain that's outside of our conscious control, and it's obviously your body's way of telling you that you need more fluids. And the key thing to remember is that if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. If you want more details as to why this is the case, that your thirst level increases, as well as the color change of your pee, please see my dangers of dehydration video, which I will link in the description below. So as a general rule of thumb, how much water is actually enough to consume on a daily basis? Well, water intake depends on several different factors, including things like age, activity level, diet, and lifestyle. The most important thing that you have to consider when increasing or decreasing your water intake is your activity level. If you're exercising daily or work a strenuous job, or if you're out in the sun where it's quite warm, you'll need to supplement with more water because you'll sweat more than you think you actually will. A typical amount that you could consume as a general baseline is anywhere from 60 to 66% of your total body weight in fluid ounces per day. So if you weigh 200 pounds, that's about 120 fluid ounces a day. Again, this can change drastically depending on how active you are in a day and what you actually do, as well as your basal metabolic rate. Remember to always check the level of your thirst 
as well as the color of your pee in order to see if you're getting enough water. Staying hydrated is definitely a good thing because it can help your overall energy levels, your mood, as well as your skin. However, like most things in the wellness world, consistency is key. Slamming a bunch of water one day and then not drinking enough the following days won't cut it. It's about adequately staying hydrated each and every day day by day. So in conclusion, 64 ounces of water a day is actually a myth. Not only is this dependent from individual to individual, but 64 ounces is likely not enough water to consume on a daily basis for most people. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this video. If you have any other medical myth or facts that you want me to cover, please leave a comment down below. Remember to drink extra water today, and as always, I will see you all on the next one.